Hi, it's Roger here with episode nine of Entrepreneur TV and I am in Cape Town, South Africa today and I am going to be sharing with you today the ninth of the principles which is all around passion. Ninth of the principles on how to go about 10 times in your business. Nelson Mandela, who uh, there is an interesting uh, little bead version of Nelson Mandela here. Nelson Mandela said that there is no passion in playing small, in uh, living a life that is less than the one that you're capable of living. And this whole concept of passion being what actually allows you to be able to think totally different about what's energizing you. If you think about your purpose being like your steering wheel, think about passion being like what's actually allowing you to put your foot in the accelerator, is the engine of your car. And what I'm gonna share with you right now is the experience I had going right to the top of Lion's uh, head, which is one of the tall mountains right here in Cape Town, and actually looking out to Robben Island and just seeing the place that Nelson Mandela was in for decades as he was focusing at what driving him, his purpose, which was what was going to lead him forward, but then also his passion, which was going to make sure that every single day he had that driver towards his purpose as well. You can't have one without the other. Now, one thing really key about this is if you just follow your passion on its own, it isn't gonna get you anywhere. Why? Because people don't pay you for what you love. People pay you for what they love. So how do you make it sustainable? Well, I wanna tell you a story. Uh, first of all, let me just share this little image and I'll tell you a story off the back of it. This here is Ikigai. This is the concept in Japan that we all have a uh, driving force within our lives. And it's a combination of four things. Those four things are number one, what we love, which is our passions. It's what the world needs, which is our purpose. It is what we're great at, which is our talents. And then it's also what we get paid for, which is your business model. It's the way you actually go about making money in the first place. And you have to have all four of them interlink to get to your Ikigai. So if you think about someone like Nelson Mandela, like there every single day focusing at his purpose, he actually uh, said, and this was a quote which I read at the Apartheid Museum, he actually said that he was gonna be the first black president. And he said that 30 years before he was, at a time that no one could ever imagine there'd be a black president. Uh, but then at the same time, he had his passion, he had his talents, which was what he was great at, which was a leader, uh, a leader of people, someone who's actually willing to be patient. He had also a business model, which in his case happened to be the way that he was actually getting himself uh, supported within uh, the political party that he was in. And whatever it is, whether it's Elon Musk, also a South African, who has totally different business models to actually follow his purpose with passion, for yourself, it's like, what am I in each of these different areas? So we've already gone through the uh, genius test. You've already got the links for that. There is a new micro degree because we're into the third month of these videos. There is a new micro degree, which is the one which is all around passions, which was put together in partnership with Chris and Janet Atwood, who created the passion test. So go ahead and take the link before so you can find exactly what are your top passions. And now my story. So as I was there standing, looking over Line Rock, it really made me think, you know, I was three years ago here in Cape Town and I was sharing this story at the time when people were really depressed about the government. Uh, Zuma was in power. People thought that there was all this corruption that was taking place. And uh, I said, look, this is one of the best times for you to be investing in South Africa. Uh, I said, look, I want to be able to invest in South Africa. We want to start up a, a safari here. One of my biggest passions is animals and actually having that experience of going out to Kruger and seeing the animals made me think, right, that's what I want to be doing. And so uh, when I said that on stage, and of course, if you've got credibility, if you've got confidence, if you've got a track record, which is coming through these different videos that we're doing together, then you can go out and actually make a, the declaration of what you want to do and provide it's got a strong enough purpose behind it, people will support you as well. So you'll watch on some of the videos when I tell my stories, I don't know how things are gonna happen. I don't know who's gonna help me. I just know what I'm gonna do, when I'm gonna do it. So when we put it out there that we're going to go out there and get ourselves a resort, here we are three years later, after one thing led to another, and just to let you know how it worked, like, you know, when I was um, uh, at that event, Hesti, who was one of our members, she came up and said, hey, Roger, do you want help with this? I know some people that can help you find a resort. I said, totally. So next thing, she got me connected with some of the people out there to actually help to find the resort. That's how we found Tao. Uh, going back to Tao this last two weeks and actually having that experience with our very first Wealth Dynamics Masters there, uh, like having an opportunity to be you know, out there with the animals and now owning Tao after, first of all, Hesti helped us to find it after actually saying, right, we're going to buy it without yet having financing in place. We then went out, uh, built our impact investor group, raised the financing for it, then got connected up with Scott Picken, who runs Wealth Migrate, uh, one of the companies that's been birthed out of 
the mentoring and support that we've been giving to entrepreneurs here in South Africa. Scott's grown Wealth Migrate into a multi-million pound, multi-million dollar company now, multi-million rand company now. And then off the back of that, he's then had uh, the opportunity to start listing uh, companies in the Seychelles for his properties. So the next thing, we become a listed company with Entrepreneur Resorts. And we've seen our share price going from a dollar to a dollar 30. It's now a $15 million business, uh, launching 50 beach clubs and five resorts around the world. And this has all happened within three years. And it happened by just having a very clear purpose, supporting the entrepreneur movement, supporting entrepreneurs right here in South Africa. And then from there, having a passion to be in the right place at the right time, to be able to support entrepreneurs as we go. And then from there, making sure that I follow my talents, which is just being creative and having the right teams around me. And the business model is the business model we're now using within our resource and beach clubs as well. Uh, so I'm gonna leave you with some of the images of what really inspired me and for you to think for yourself, well, what is it that I'm willing to actually step up to for myself within my life? The most important thing is to start with who you are, to be self-aware about what it is that you're great at, what it is that you love, what it is that you're actually here on the planet to do, and what is the business model you're actually gonna to follow to do it as well. Take the micro degree below, leave your comments below as well, and I will be seeing you on the next video as we go deeper into how you go about actually using your passions to be able to drive your business to the next level. Until the next video, have a fabulous week, and we'll catch up later.